that's right. We actually have been invited to the BBC offices here. Yeah? Yes, the World Cup on Wheels ID has managed to get us in into the BBC for a, well, a chatter on the radio and about how we're going about it, how the World Cup is happening. We're looking forward to it. It's BBC Asia Network. It's yes. been helped by some of our colleagues as well. Yes. And a lot of people know that we're drawing a bit of traction with our movements on the wheel. I think it's beyond a bit of traction. And I'm not even blowing hard trumpet because that's what's happening. I'm pleasantly surprised. Because we're just having fun, aren't we? Yep. Ready to don on the headphones and have a chat and be across national radio? I think I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. At our radio, uh, thanks to, big shout out to BBC uh, Asia Network for having us on. And for Rune, it's been a lot of fun. Hope we were okay. Despite having all our stories really well planned out, we do need time to just wander away, grab some food, and think about what our next big story is going to be. Bharat is standing here outside a lovely Sri Lankan place. Do we know where we're going next, importantly? Uh, the food is too food is too <laughs> I can't think about anything but the food. And since Sri Lanka are the team who have kept this World Cup alive by beating England famously, we just thought we'd pay an ode to them by having some hoppers at Hoppers. Yeah, I had some wonderful kotu roti, but this is what I like about London. Small little lanes, wonderful restaurants. And once we've had food into us, we've thought about next story and where we're going to go. Shall we move on? Should I reveal what we want? No, I think, I think we should digest our food. I can't keep secrets. We should digest our food, take a walk down towards... You say so. Down towards the Leicester Square tube station and then and get to our next get to our next story. Bharat's here, but we have a very, very special friend here. So once again, before you come into the camera, Mr. Sama, so I don't know how many of you guys know, he has written a cricket book, I have written a cricket book, but so has this lovely friend of mine. Hey. Sama. <laughs> Why is up? Why What do you have to say? You're on World Cup on Wheels. My debut on World Cup on Wheels. Highlight of my World Cup. First of many, yeah. This first guy's been many. talking and promoting us more than oh, anyone. Oh, yes. He was one first of the first people to find out um, He still hasn't been on the World Cup on Wheels. He will be, so he's spending a night there. Oh, in your way. I'm glad there's going to be Wheels on Wheels as well. <laughs> <laughs> so so he, he wrote this wonderful award winning book on Mike Proctor last year. It came out last year? Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Uh, and so here we are, three cricket authors about to enter the cricket bookstore. It's amazing how many cricket books there are here, and we're going to be, you know, Mr. McKenzie is going to be speaking to me and Barrett. But just, just have a look. I mean, this is just a, a shrine and. It's fantastic. Books going back nearly 250 years to the latest uh, versions, and it's just phenomenal. And what what is phenomenal is this area actually used to be Mr. McKenzie's backyard, and he's transformed it. Um, you know, just with, with books. It's it's just a phenomenal story. I mean, cricket books, and we all go online, but look, this is absolutely a shrine from you know from anywhere, and just look this is just enormous it's one of the great things so uh, look it's it's just wonderful to be here and we're going to talk to mr mckenzie soon so here we are inside mr mckenzie's store or shrine shrine, shrine. This is a um, shrine. mr mckenzie can you tell us i mean can you estimate how many books there might be in here very difficult because a I know rough no not I don't know but uh, how many 
books, how many titles, but you know how many con- how many copies? Sometimes I got five copies oh. of each, you see. Oh, right. So if you got to make your figure up, Yep. 10,000 books. Oh, then wow. it could be 50,000 books. Is there one amazing book? Like a wow book that stands out for you? Well, I, I like that uh, obituary of uh, the 19 interwar oh, okay. cricketer, spin bowler, Arthur oh, Mayley. He was a real character. Oh. And I, I briefly corresponded with him when, when wow. I was my collecting days. Okay. And he wasn't well towards the end. He used to, right. But he still used to pay me a, post, a postcard, postcard yeah. a Christmas card, with a uh, drawing of his. He's a very good artist. Oh, right. right. Okay. Yes. And what's the oldest book you have in here? They go back to the, I mean, some books. Uh, early 1700s. Uh, no, the trouble is it'll only have a paragraph. Oh, oh, it's, okay. it's, a, it's in the bibliography. There's a bibliography which I published yeah. 20 years ago. Every book up to 1979 on cricket. Oh, right. So that includes just one word. But if you've got a whole book, yep. early book like that, yep. on cricket, that is special. Wow. You know, it's, and and you met a lot of interesting people over the years. But uh, yeah. what about that car ride you shared with a certain Mrs. Burton? <laughs> that was interesting. Just after the uh, plate, uh, right. went up to Stoke, and the man who I did the plate with tr- uh, told me he's taking Eddie Burton back to London. Yep. And uh, the f- fascinating trip. The guy was just concentrating on the road. <laughs> and I had Eddie uh, oh, right. undivided attention. It was right. excellent. And, and you did go to Adelaide and meet the Don himself. I did. Yes. And what was that experience? Oh. Because I mean, people our age can never, you know, yeah. our. He was a really genuine guy, you know. He just really was, and he, you could see he was really into cricket. You know. I say, I think he must have thought everything through to the end. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you'd, you'd bring out something different angle, and so I always wish I'd. Talking about that Dundee 36 7 series, oh, yeah. why didn't I say? Uh, yeah. So many questions oh, I could have asked him. Yeah. So, what are these wisdoms? We walk into the shop and there are wisdoms all around us. What, do, what, what does a wisdom mean? Well, it's, the, it's known as the Cricketer's Bible, oh, insofar right. as you've got all the facts of right. the year, right. the yeah. previous year, yeah. and the, the records of the previous hundred years or whatever. Right. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, really, you could either buy a run in a period, for a period, a set now, which but again, when I occasionally got the first issue, I, I think I was the first person to pay four figures for a, oh, for a Worcester wow, back wow. in the 80s, that was. Yeah, yeah. And how long, when was the first time you started collecting books? How far are we yeah, dating? Back in the 60s. 60s, so that's uh, yeah. nearly 60 Stop, years. Stop, but don't remind me. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 we'll talk about like, more yeah, no, really things. Yeah, no, I'm only But finally... Um, like, but also, back in those days, yeah, yeah. You, know, they, they were, you just went around and there were bookshops everywhere. Oh, That's true. Right. I would jump on trains and uh, oh, right. do tours of the country. Right, and did, right. yeah. so, so how have you adjusted to modern times in terms of like having an old bookshop like this where people are just bu- reading online and uh, eBay, eBay and, books and, of and Amazon? Yeah, and, and, I can do without that. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't affect me really. Yeah, I'm just, just, right, um, right. And, and just one fine, a controversial question. Do you think journalists re- read enough cricket books? Well, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. I'm not getting drawn into that. <laughs> <laughs> True, I'll give you that. But yeah. thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much, uh, so okay, much for being on Walk Up on Wheels and, 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 and opening your doors to us. And, no, yeah. sure. sure.